Good morning, it's Laurie from Passionate Penny Pincher. It is day 15 of Croctober. You are not gonna believe what we are making in the crock pot today. I can't wait to tell you about it. I'm also gonna show you a new crock pot that some of you may not have seen before. So it's a kind of fun crock pot that I kind of love. I don't use it all that often, but I thought I'd show it to you guys. As you're hopping on, guys, um, you can click the link and you can get the totally free Crocktober cookbook. You can get all the recipes, all the menu plans, all the grocery lists. It's gonna be awesome. I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on next week because we're gonna kind of have to take a break. Um, but I would love to tell you. So what, as y'all are hopping on, what I'd love to hear here is tell me where you're from and what the weather's like where you are and tell me um, tell me if you have any guesses of what we're making tonight that you don't know some people are already if you have the cookbook you know what we're making tonight I want some guesses of something that you would normally never ever ever never make in the crock pot so let's see if we can get some guesses on what we're making if you hit that share button we will give away a $25 Amazon gift card for every hundred shares we get um, so or for if we get a hundred shares so please share the video I would appreciate that Okay, so any guesses as to what we're making this morning? Any guesses? I'm watching for just a second, and I'm going to tell you, I did not want to make this. I guess I could show you guys. I'll show you kind of a peek. I'll show you a peek without letting you see the magic thing that will let you know what it is, and I'll try to see. Good morning, Victoria in Brooksville. So glad to have you from Florida. Ah, oh, mom to seven. I think you got it. I think you got it. Anybody else? Okay, mom to seven got it. I'm so glad you got it. Okay, so guess what we're making, guys? We are making meatloaf in the crock pot. I'm going to give you an honest confession. I hate meatloaf. I don't like it. I don't do this because I like meatloaf. I do this because I love my husband. So there are some days um, when you make things they love instead of what you love. I don't like this one. I'm actually making it with ground turkey, but you can make it in the crock pot and I'm actually going to make it in this one and I'll show you why in a few seconds. How many of y'all have seen this kind of a crock pot? It's kind of awesome. By the way, you can order the Crocktober cookbook. You can get the totally free one if you'd like, but you can also order it right now at Amazon for $11, which is the cheapest price. So I don't know how long Amazon's gonna leave that, but it's a great deal. So I've got my one and a half pounds of ground beef or ground turkey. I'm using ground turkey today. I'm gonna mix in two eggs, three quarter cups of milk, two-thirds cups of breadcrumbs. How many of you guys who likes meatloaf? Any people who like meatloaf out there? Because I do not. Do you wash my hands real fast? Yeah, so tell me how many of y'all love meatloaf? I have, um, do me a, maybe don't do a thumbs down because it'll make my heart sad if I see a bunch of thumb downs. How many of y'all like that? Thank you, Andrea, for sharing. Okay, so this is two-thirds cups of breadcrumbs. Then we're going to do two teaspoons of minced onion. And don't forget, if you hit that share button, we're going to give away a $25 Amazon gift card. I would love for you to win one. Okay, two teaspoons of minced onion and a teaspoon of salt. Now, we're going to make this just like a traditional meatloaf just like you would add in anything else but I'm going to show you some how we're going to bake it and then I'm going to try something because y'all know how much I hate touching meatloaf um, or touching meat in general. Let's see if this will work. What do y'all think? I've never tried this before but I hate mixing stuff so do you think this will work? I'm going to use this as a pastry cutter um, and I'll wash it in the dishwasher obviously. My only fear on this a little bit is that I probably do not have a pound and a half of ground of tur ground turkey. I think this may actually work, and I don't touch the meat. So I may have a little bit more liquid, but I think the liquid's gonna cook out while it's cooking. So we'll see how it goes. What do y'all think? I actually think that worked really well, as long as you can wash it really well before obviously making anything with pastry. Okay, I've never tried that, but I liked that so much more than doing anything else. How many of you guys have a great way to do meatloaf. I just hate touching the meat. Um, so yeah, that actually kind of worked really well. And like I said, you can use ground beef or ground turkey. We are using ground turkey. I only use a pound of ground turkey, so I'm afraid this is gonna be a little liquidy. The recipe actually goes for a pound and a half, but I feel like it's gonna have just some extra juices, so I'm not worried. I think it'll be a little bit extra gooey. I'm just gonna take a regular loaf pan. Now, let me tell you, if you do not have a big crock pot. You can either do cook this in a large crock pot inside the pan or you could just pop it 
in the crock pot. You would not have to do it like this. Because I happen to have this kind of cool, awesome crock pot over here, how many of y'all have seen this? Um, in fact, if you win that $25 Amazon gift card, you could buy this crock pot, which would be really fun. Um, because I have this one, I'm just gonna put it in there. And because I really don't wanna touch the meat on live, y'all. I guess I'll just suck it up and touch it. Blah. Y'all, this grosses me out. Do not love touching meat. I don't even like meatloaf. Oh, and it just fell all over. Isn't that lovely, y'all? Ugh, yuck. I do this because I love my husband. I do not do this because I like meatloaf. At least it's ground turkey, but this is not my favorite. It will be a little thicker if you use a pound and a half of ground beef or ground turkey. I probably should have done that, but um, we're going to be fine with that. And I'm going to go wipe that off the counter because that's just disgusting. Hang on a second, guys. I got to clean that up. Okay, here we go, because I can't look at ground turkey all day. So that's it as far as this goes, and I will scrub that all later, but at least that's there for now. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do. Now we're gonna bake it in the crock pot, and like I said, because I have this kind, literally y'all, look at that. I'm baking it in the crock pot five to six um, hours on low, so it's super simple. This is a casserole crock pot, I kinda love it, just to show you what it looks like for anybody who's not seen one of these before. It cooks on high, low, and warm. Um, it's great for casseroles. You can also take this out and use it in the oven. You can't put this part in the oven, but you can put this part in the oven, which I think is really cool, and I think it's a pretty dish. Um, so if you're looking for an awesome crock pot, um, I really, really do like this one. Okay, so enough about that. So I'm gonna cook this on low five to six hours. Then at the end of the day, I need to go ahead and make my stuff for the top, the red stuff they put on the top. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of meatloaf, but this is what we make. We go ahead and we put on a quarter cup of ketchup, two tablespoons brown sugar, a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire, and two, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of dry mustard. Now, all of the recipes are available in the cookbook, so click the link to get the cookbook. My problem is um, I don't have dry mustard, so I need some help here. I have some Dijon mustard. Can I use real Dijon mustard in this? I feel like I can. I feel like this will work. Guys, quickly tell me, because I'm gonna wait and see if we've got this. Let me see, what do y'all think? Do you think I can use this instead? Yes, Elizabeth says yes. Yes, okay, guys, I'm going for it. So it calls for a teaspoon of dry mustard, so what do you think, like two teaspoons? Use this, awesome, because I am not going to the store today. Um, Y'all, I was so over all my chicken yesterday. I got chicken everywhere. I am not leaving until I have to go out this afternoon and this evening. Um, but like I said, I'm traveling next week, so I'm trying to get ready. So I'm gonna put two teaspoons. What do y'all think, two teaspoons? Absolutely. Y'all are so nice. It's so nice to have help in the kitchen when you're cooking. I love that you guys kind of sit here and help me out. I appreciate that. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna serve it with some mashed potatoes. My husband's gonna be happy. I'll eat a little bit and we're good to go. Dinner is done, y'all. Dinner's done. Okay, so let me tell you guys super fast. I was also gonna show you my chicken from yesterday. How many of you guys saw me undoing my Zaycon chicken? I still had to clean my Ninja that's over there because I did not deal with it till late last night. So I've gotta clean out the Ninja. But I do wanna tell you, um, the deal was awesome. Taste the, taste the stuff. I guess this is safe to taste. Let me see if it tastes like the right stuff. Mmm, it's good. Yep. Might need a little more ketchup, maybe. Yeah. Anyways, I'll work on that throughout the day. The things we do, it should taste like barbecue. Really? Like barbecue sauce. You can tell I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of um, meatloaf because I don't even know what the stuff on top is supposed to taste like because we just don't make it very often. Um, you can do ground turkey, Michelle. You could do ground beef for sure. So definitely do ground beef. It will work just fine. You think add a little more ketchup? I will add a little more ketchup. You use just plain ketchup on the top, Elida? Is that how I say your name, Elida? What a pretty name. Um, I may try that. You use straight ketchup. Okay, guys, I'm gonna add in some ketchup, I think, and that way we'll have a little extra sauce. I do kind of love this crock pot. What do y'all think about this crock pot? Hearts or likes on this one? Isn't it cute? Yeah, it's a really cute crock pot. I got it last year for Easter. I have a, I think I have four and a half crock pots. I don't really hoard a lot of things, but I do hoard crock pots. Somebody uses pasta sauce, that's interesting. Tomato paste, that's interesting. 
Okay, lots of different things to do. So I'm going to show you my chicken yesterday that I have in here that I still have to deal with. So y'all remember that last night I made all my chicken. So I've got this chicken. I've got just got to shred up this chicken. So I'm going to deal, do that, and then I'll freeze the rest of this chicken. Then... bags of these frozen so I'm pretty excited to have all my chicken done but because of that I was overwhelmed and I was not in the mood to hop on this morning I thought I do not even want to make dinner I'm so sick of food so um, I do want to tell you guys real quickly about next week because things are going to change a little bit too Susan you're an also a crock pot hoarder I really don't think of myself as a hoarder but I do love having the right crock pot my ninja is perfect for some things some things I love this one, so you just need all the different ones, you know? Um, so when you get a deal. What's exciting is Christmas is coming, and you know when we're gonna see awesome deals on these, it's gonna be the holidays, so that's gonna be fun. Um, manwich sauce, Darlene, you said you put that on your meatloaf. That's a great idea. How many of y'all like meatloaf? Give me a like or heart if you love meatloaf. I am just not a meatloaf girl, but I'm making it for my husband because it will make him so happy. So he says, I did add some brown sugar. So yeah, I've got that. I might add a little more brown sugar. Then I might like it better because I do tend to like things that have some sugar in them. Y'all like meatloaf. It is so funny. It's one of those things that it's really hard to photograph. So whenever I post it, I'm always kind of grossed out by it and I don't want to photograph it, but it just is, um, but people always seem to like it. So um, yeah, this is fun. There was one other thing. Oh, I want to tell you next week, y'all, I am getting a cold. I do not want to sit here with my runny nose, so I'm going to. How gross. Anyways, it's just real life. Um, so next week, I'm going to be traveling for a conference. I leave tomorrow. So I will not be on live making food. So we're going to take a week off of Crocktober next week. But the awesome thing is that the 30th, I think, is like Monday through Friday of the next week. So we'll still kind of be in October when we start it. So I'm going to take the first. So I'll take next week off from cooking. I will still probably um, do occasionally a Facebook Live. So I won't be gone completely because I'll be, you know, working all week at a conference. But um, my friend Shannon is going to do a video. My friend um, Hannah is going to do a video. So they will do. Shannon will probably cover. I'm hoping I can get her to do two videos. If you guys have stores you would like her to cover, probably Target or Walmart are the ones she'll cover, I bet. Um, I'm hoping I can get her to do two stores next week for us. And then and Hannah is going to, I believe, I think she might be unboxing something. So um, so we'll still be around on Facebook Live. We just won't be that. Linda, you said airborne for that cold. I probably should take some airborne. You're right. I should do that. I actually, somebody told me garlic works for that too. So I will be here for sure. The camera is very crooked. You're right. It's, it is crooked. Um, you use straight ketchup. Thank you, Sarah, for my shirt. I have to tell you, I got this shirt at Altered State, and I love it. It's a very cozy shirt on days like this. Becky, some craft ideas. You know, I'll talk to them about craft ideas. We will definitely be, once Crocktober is over, I will be doing more Dollar Tree ideas. Um, we actually have a Dollar Tree project coming up, so I'm excited about that. We'll probably work on that the first week in November. So I will definitely watch for crops. Yeah, tell me, for um, crafting ideas, tell me some other ideas of things you would love to see on Facebook Live. Somebody says, take coldies. Do you think it helps? It's just, I'm just starting to get a runny nose. I just hate that. Um, meatloaf sandwiches. It is cold this morning, so maybe that's why my nose is running because it is a little chilly. Garlic is great. Okay, y'all are going to tell me what I need to take because I don't want to be sick while I'm gone. Um, tell me what else you'd like to see on Facebook Live. We will be, like I said, taken. Well, I'll still be here, um, but just I'll be in other places. So um, stay away from all sugar, Sue says, if you're fighting a cold. Sue, you know that all I want right now is chocolate, but I will try. That's a good, that's good advice. I will try. I might have to have my hail atop. Maybe that would make me feel better. Christmas homemade presents, Alita, you would like to see. Chastity said, cut up a cleared onion. Heidi says, coldies is the best. Could be allergies. I think it may actually be allergies because it is just very, it's just a weird, it's just that time of year. And we have a huge cornfield behind us, so I think it is all that. So, okay, I'm going to take all these good things. Okay, so um, the other thing I wanted to tell you, and this is what I forgot at the beginning. I don't want to tell you this beginning because I don't want to get anybody discouraged. But there are days, like today, I woke up, and like I said, yesterday I dealt with 20 pounds of chicken. I made a recipe. I felt like I was so sick of cooking. There are days, guys, that all of us get worn out and tired and don't want to wake up and do this. Um, I did not want to wake up this morning and make meatloaf. It was so hard. Sue, you said I can't have any chocolate. Sue, I may cry. Um, so it was so hard to wake up this morning and do, 
Facebook Live and to get meatloaf ready. I was like, I do not want to make this, but the reality is, guys, our family has to have dinner. Our family has to be fed. We have to take care of them. And now that it's done, I was like, this isn't even that bad. I just have, and how lucky am I? Like, my, I'm griping because we have plen plenty of food to eat and I have to actually cook it. Like, I mean, we have plenty. So if you're having one of those days where you feel like, I do not want to get out of bed today. I do not want to get my shower today. I don't want to get up and exercise today. I don't want to go for a walk today. Any of y'all having that kind of day, go ahead. You can like or heart if you are having that day. So I encourage you today that you are not alone. We all have those kind of days, even people who kind of can fake online that they look cheerful and happier. But when you're having those days, getting up and getting it done is a great way to start your day. And um, Jim Victoria used to go back to and get some rest. I'm actually not feeling horrible. I just have a little bit of a runny nose. I think it might be allergies because I don't feel bad. Um, but I think when you can just get yourself kind of motivated to get something done, I'm going to make myself do this. I'm going to make myself clean up the kitchen and then I can sit down and work some today, which working for me is something that I love a ton. So it's kind of a fun day. But after dealing with all that chicken yesterday, I was like, Lord, if I have to sit here and deal with meatloaf, <laughs> I did not want to deal with the meatloaf. But my husband will be so happy when he gets done. Mary, you said you have a lot of those days. Mary, I am praying for you and those days are hard. I encourage you just to Hang in there and maybe um, if you can just hop up and get dinner made and maybe go for a quick walk. I always feel better when I get up and exercise. So um, that makes all the difference. Somebody says, Christina, you said you would love um, to make a fall, I think you did a fall craft. So I will be looking for fall crafts to do because those are some of my favorite things to do. I will also be doing some baking. Um, some of my favorite baking stuff will be um, doing getting stuff baked and ready to trap to pack for um teachers and things so we'll talk a lot about those i love hobby lobby for those gifts we'll also operation christmas child shoe boxes are coming up so we'll be packing some of those so lots of those things um thank y'all so much oh you said the, a video on side dishes and someone else said cleaning tips okay i have a surprise for you in november we're gonna have a quick cleaning little challenge it'll be short it won't be all week long but um, a short cat short one for sure do I like this rectangular crock pot better than the other thing? You know what? I, okay, so for those of you who did not see the other crock pot, this is my rectangular crock pot. I really like it for, um, for certain things, but I don't use it that often. So I was thinking, and I should have used it more during Crocktober. So the next, when we come back in a week and we finish out Crocktober, I will try a couple more of those recipes um, in the crock pot. Let's see what recipes we have coming up. Don't forget you can download and print your totally free Crocktober cookbook. Um, it's totally free um, and it has a grocery list and menu plan. So if you're not sure what to make for dinner, it's gonna make life so much easier. Someone got the new Pioneer one. Ooh, one of my favorite roasts is coming next week. You're gonna love this. So that we'll take a week off. These are some of my favorites. Um, slow cooker chicken and sausage stew. Slow cooker, which I probably will put that in a regular Ninja. Slow cooker pesto ranch chicken. I may try that in this casserole so we can kind of see how that works. Bobby, we will be doing some cleaning videos and decluttering videos for sure. Slow cooker pot roast, we will make this, um, I may try this in this crock pot just so we can kind of see what we think. Um, I, I think it'd be fine in that. I typically stay away from it for those. And then slow cooker pork cacciatore, that would be fabulous in this kind. So I may do the pork cacciatore, I probably will do in that one. And then um, slow cooker chicken tortilla soup, and that will be the end of October. Don't forget guys, you can download your free book right now at Amazon. The cookbook, the real beautiful cookbook is only $11. So if you've been debating, ordering it, and would like to have a real copy that you don't have to print, um, just go ahead over there. It's got um, all the pretty pictures. It's got everything really. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It has um, all the stuff in there. It's got what I call my glamour shot of me when I look like when I have lots of makeup on. Um, yeah, so it's super easy. Joni, you asked, what did I make? Let me see. What did I, what are we making? We made meatloaf today was what we made. And I saw another comment, but, um, you're, Chastity, are you having problems getting notifications for live? It is a problem. I don't know how to help with that. If you can go on your Facebook, you should be able to go to Passionate Penny Pincher page and ask to see Passionate Penny Pincher posts first. Um, and that may help. Jennifer, do you think the price went up? On the cookbook, it was $11. It was $11 this morning. Someone said I should do morning exercise videos. I have to tell y'all what I did this morning because I was pretty proud of myself. And this is probably why I didn't want to do live and probably why I'm worn out. Um, I, because I know I'm not going to get to exercise like I regularly do during 
next week. I um, woke up. My regular class that I take is a body pump class at 5.30. So I actually got to the gym at 4.57. Ran two and a half miles before. I'm trying to run a faster mile because I'm a really, 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 really slow runner. So I got, um, I did two and a half miles before the class. So I did those in under, I did like a nine and a half minute, nine minute to nine and a half minute mile. And then I did another mile and a half after. So I did my class and I did, um, yeah, I did my gym class and I ran, ran four miles. I was excited about that. That was ex that was awesome. So anyway, sorry, I was proud of that. So I had to share that with y'all. So he said the cookbook is up to fourteen dollars. Oh, is it? Oh man, it was eleven dollars when I checked this morning. Keep watching it. I don't. I think they we had to change it. Um, and so I'm wondering why they dropped it and then it went back up. I was hoping it would stay at eleven dollars. Um, somebody asked if my family is eating crock pot meals. So I do have some crock pot meals. I also went to the grocery this morning, but right after I got home from the gym, that's my favorite trick is I get up early. I get up at five every morning. Um, I go to the gym and then I always go to the grocery store on the way home. So if I have to get any groceries, I don't always, but like once a week I'll go and I'll pick my grocery stores up, stuff up. So today I picked up junk food for them and they're going to be so happy to have me not here because I got frozen pizzas for them, which they absolutely love. And we never have frozen pizza. I even got chicken nuggets, y'all. So we have a couple um, freezer meals, but they will also be eating some junk food because they'll be happy to have us. Tiffany, you asked, can I tell you the correction in the cookbook? I sure can. It is on page. It's a very small one. Um, and if you have any problems with it, please send me an email and we'll see what we can do to fix it. It is on, here we go. Okay, on page 21, and it's really, really small. Like, it's really small. So... What happened is everything just needs to be moved down. So it says one and a half to two pounds. Everything's there. The things are just a little bit off. So if you, Tiffany, if you just look, you'll be able to line this up. So where I'm looking at page 21, it says cream of chicken soup. We just missed up the spacing. So it's one, two cans cream of chicken soup, one 10 ounce can of water, and everything just has to be come down. So um, send me an email and we'll explain that a little bit better. Um, go ahead and send me an email at contact at passionatepennypincher.com because it's not a very big one. Everything's there, um, and I just hate that we didn't find it sooner, and I'm so sorry, Tiffany. I feel horrible. Okay, so I think those are all the questions, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a fantastic weekend. I will see you back week, a little bit next week from Dallas, but um, I may not be here very much. So hope you guys have the best day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.